Symptoms of heavy metal poisoning. I'm Dr. Carrie Lamb and this is Dr. Michael Lamb. This is one of two part series of heavy metal um, poisoning. Today we're going to talk about the acute and the chronic symptoms because there is a difference. So what are some symptoms of acute heavy metal poisoning? Yeah, acute metal uh, poisoning is a medical emergency in many cases. Uh, without doubt, you have to visit the emergency room right away. Uh, uh, memory loss, uh, joint pains, uh, you know, uh, bleeding. Uh, these are all signs of, uh, of acute metal poisoning. It can be very, very severe, so make no mistake about that. You see right. what I'm mm -hmm. Meaning if you suddenly drank some water and you just feel nausea, vomiting, you have headaches that are really bad, you're breathing very abnormally, you're confused, those can all be acute heavy metal poisoning. Um, or maybe a child ate some paint off the wall or they were um, um, eating a toy that might have heavy metals in them. Those are all symptoms that you should be on the lookout for, especially if they have severe cramping or convulsions or like seizure-like activity, um, bring them to the ER right away. Um, so what are some other symptoms of chronic heavy metal toxicity? Well, uh, the number one symptom of chronic heavy metal is no symptoms. This is why it's so difficult uh, to understand these concepts because they accumulate so slow, so small, and the body has a reservoir to be able to allow the metal to hide. So basically you feel nothing until you know, the symptoms appear. By the time you actually feel symptoms, that is usually because the body is very weak or the level is very high. Hmm. And so normal people go through their life and don't feel it. And, and this has been the biggest challenge. Yeah? But some people do feel little things like achy joints, um, type of a brain fog, um, right? Yeah, and, and these are the signals that the body sends you. And, 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 and you have to pay attention uh, because these are so subtle, so mild that it escapes most people's uh, common experiences. So, uh, as, as you mentioned, uh, a little migrating uh, discomfort, not even pain, that kind of moves around. Uh, sometimes you have floaters, uh, sometimes you have a brain fog, uh, sometimes you have a gastric uh, discomfort, but it kind of come and go, you see what I'm saying? Uh, so it, it doesn't point to anything specific, but these are alerts that your body is sending you, and it's very hard for most practitioners uh, to pay attention to this because it is chronic, it is not obvious. And so uh, we pay a lot of attention to this because, you know, in our neuroendometabolic stress response, and so we help the body to overcome and rebalance, we very, very much so pay attention to the detoxification system of the body because the body has a built-in detoxification system to try to handle. But when you deal with these common heavy metals, they are so heavy, it cannot be detoxed. Mm. Uh, and, and that's where the body gets into congestion, the liver congestion, gallbladder congestion, extracellular matrix imbalances. Yeah. Become, the body becomes just kind of toxic. You know, it's nothing very serious, but you can just feel it uh, if the a practitioner is very sharp. Right? Mm. So you have to find someone who really understands, okay? So you're saying that the heavy metals actually just kind of sit in your body and they don't go anywhere and that's why you feel heavy and you feel like you can't detox very well. Yeah, and sometimes when you detox or try to chelate, you can actually cause a retoxification reaction and make the whole uh, body worse and you can trigger adrenal crashes. Mm -hmm. The body can be overwhelmed. Even in metals, uh, they can release fumes mm -hmm. uh, in the process that can overpower the brain and cause people to have a severe, severe uh, brain fog and amnesia in the process. Right. And so that kind of segues to our next week's series about um, how to safely deal with heavy metal toxicities while you have adrenal fatigue. And so today we talked about the symptoms of acute and chronic heavy metal toxicity. Hopefully um, you learned a lot and you stay tuned for next week.